So, to instill some fear in Schoolboy and Juji Mufu, I'm gonna pin Devin Laren. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Yup, yup, yeah. yup. Yeah, there you go. There's it's no so strong. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. What's going on, guys? As you know, we have Devin Larratt here, the man himself, the best in the game. He came all the way from Canada to Dubai, just got off his flight, checked into the hotel just a few hours ago, and he slept good, had a whole road to himself. That's time to travel, right now. <laughs> yeah. uh, especially on a very long journey. Canada to here. I made that trip last year from uh, Saskatoon. That was brutal. So I can't believe you're here on the table right now. Thank you so much. We're gonna go through some drills. And Devin, most importantly, is gonna pass on all the knowledge that he can to get me ready for the big leagues. And as you know, school boy. Can't wait, man. Thank yes, you sir. very much. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so just always be thinking about finding my fingertips. Always be thinking about my fingertips. That's, that's your target. Think about, that's it, good, nice. Yeah, now carry it through. Carry it through, yeah. Good, good. Yeah, grab higher. When you come up, grab even higher. You can cover your thumb, you can, yeah. So grab higher. Yeah, oh yeah. Now, now when I say higher, Okay, normally when you think high, you're talking about the top of your hand. Just open up, open up your hand. Okay, see, see this line here? Now, if that can get higher at the top, that's good, but it can get higher also at the bottom. So see here, okay? Like I'm trying to elevate the entire thing, any part of it. So this ridge is what you're trying to elevate on me. So I can get this part of any my thumb part higher of it, as well. Any part of it, so you can elevate through the top. But you can also elevate through the bottom. Okay, so you can kind of ratchet it up from the top and ratchet it from the bottom, okay? And normally once you start to ratchet from the top, that, that's when the thumb cover makes a big difference. Yes, beautiful, beautiful, yes, good. Just, that's it, yeah. Now, why don't you just not pin me and just ratchet through my hand fully and I'll kind of stay with you and I'll end up flopping out and just eat my whole hand up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And use the whole pad, come forward, come back, kick your wrist back. I'm not going to pull through you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. From the top first. Yeah, that's right. it. From the top first. So post up first. Post, that's it. Good. 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 Get it close to you. At the end, that's it. When you, when you get it close, don't only drag back, get it inside your body. That's, yeah. Here. Mm. Um, more like, it's more like, so here you are, come across, and then it's like a roll that's tight. So instead of rolling like to the outside, you've got like a locked pack as tight as you can. Lock my pack. Keep my, yeah, my pack's not getting locked. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> See, when you got a little chest, it's easier. Yeah. Well, you can, it doesn't matter where it is. Even if it's here, okay, just think about that contraction and bring it to your center. The process is to your center, not to the side. We're not so just back. Not to the, no, your elbow should be trying to come in line with like your spinal cord, right? Like, or even, 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 even past it. Like when you bring your arm down, it doesn't matter how open you are, you just supinate a little bit. Supinate, that's it. And now bring your elbow to your center. Bring it towards your belly, yeah. Belly button, target belly, that's it. Okay, good. There we go, there we go, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So bring it in. That's it, yeah. In here, okay, yeah. not just back No, here. exactly, tuck it in, that's it, that's better. Yeah, because eventually you're going to be pushing, right? When, when you're pulling and when you're dragging, it's not that big a deal, but when you actually get behind it to press, it's got to be there. Otherwise, this gets, you know, it can get, it can get hurt. Yeah. All right, let's just do this. Let's get you comfortable. Let's just turn into a hook. Good. Let's just sit here for a bit. Yeah, nice and easy. 
sit here. Yeah, just sit here. Climb up a little bit. Climb up over the Grab higher up on my hand. Good. Good. Slide your elbow forward. Grab higher up. Get more rounded. Remember that thing about the bottom? Make that come up. Make the bottom come up. Slide the elbow forward. When you come forward, try and get some rise. That's it. As you come forward. Yep. That's it. And then as soon as you reach the end there, go all the way to the front corner. That's it, and now keep your wrist and bring it inside your body. That's it, perfect. Yeah. And the thing is, as long as we move slow, you'll, you'll have more miles, we can work through this stuff better. Same thing, let's just get in, bend, bend it up, good, good, nice, okay, alright, come forward, get a better grip, good, 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 one of the things that I'm thinking when I'm arm wrestling, is, okay, so, bend the wrist. Okay. And then when the match, when it's like frozen, and I'm thinking, what do I do now? The first thing I think is, can I bend my wrist even more? And then I think, can I bend it even more? Like, feel this? Okay, so, here we are in a hook, okay? My wrist is pretty bent, okay? Bend it more, <laughs> right? And when it's bent more, I bend it more. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, you can never go wrong with just the cut. The cup is, it's, it's like the biggest muscle group. It's probably the, the biggest driver. Turn and burn, Larry. <laughs> Turn and burn. Yeah. Yeah. It seemed like you're, uh, when you're squaring up for that cup, it seemed yeah. like you're more this way. Yeah, yeah, because remember the shoulder angle? Right. right. I'm trying to cut that angle off, right? And even the cup alone will start to do that. Okay, but if, I, if I'm here, and then I start to bring that, better. Yeah. 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 Just cup in. Just cup in. Good. And now try and get higher up. That's it. Good. Nice. Feels healthy though, yeah? <laughs> nothing, nothing hurts? Uh, nothing hurts. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll try and do a bit of reversal, okay? All right, All right. Uh, so go in that cup again, go in that hook, good. All right, now feel this. I'm gonna do it to you. Okay, so see how most of my lock is here, right? Where is it? Like I'm bending my wrist in, and I'm starting to edge forward with my shoulder. And I've got my bicep on defense as well. So I'm cupping, bringing my shoulder forward, and I'm on my bicep. By shoulder fold, you mean doing Yes. That? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it actually is this. Oh, yeah, yeah. So look, see? So here, so my wrist, simple stuff, my wrist cups in. Okay. okay? If you try and push on it, my bicep is going to stop you. I start to bring my shoulder forward. Okay, you start to feel that on your bicep, right? Yes. Right? So I'm like bringing my skeleton into the match. Yeah. Okay. Okay, but here I am in that position. And now I'm gonna to start to switch from inside to outside, okay? okay. So I'm gonna to start to go this direction. This, okay. This way, you're gonna try and find your fingers, ready? Okay. Yeah, so here, I start to edge, see that? Okay, yeah, okay. attacking my fingertips, yep. I feel it. Okay, so try, try that, we'll get into a hook, and then, and then start to think, can you find my fingers from that hook? 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And okay. Yeah. Think. Get more around me. Find my fingers. Get more around. Get more around me. From the bottom. More, that's it. Get past it. In, come back in, and when you do, scoop it. When I come back in, you yep. mean get, don't... get past it. Make this come way up. This part here, drive that forward and make the skin slip. This part? Yep, make that, like watch this. Like here we are, you're out here a bit. When you come forward, come up. Okay. It's almost like an uppercut. Alright. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Good. Slide that elbow through. There we go. Nice. Good. Yeah. 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 And you're he, almost he, easily a schoolboy, right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Okay. We'll get there. Schoolboy. That's a great. Like Larry's got so much potential. I mean, I think whatever you decide to do, you're gonna be just fine. Schoolboy, those freaking Russians, man. Those <laughs> Russians, when they start them young, and then they're, schoolboy's yeah. bad dude. Schoolboy's bad dude. I can't wait, though. I think uh, when that match happens, you'll be ready. All right, that's a bold statement. All right, if Devin says it, I'll be ready. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> lots of arm wrestling, lots of arm. You just gotta learn how to get tight, man. Like you gotta learn, like you gotta be walking around like this all day long. <laughs> Put your hand on your shoulder and be like. This is my big swing. Can you, can you yeah. touch? Can I touch? Your 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 finger to your. Can you guys touch? Cause uh, uh, you almost can touch. Man, I never. So you gotta work on the art of tightness, right? <laughs> so I've had two surgeries. Can you touch here? Touch. Bring my shoulder. Yeah. Oh wow. I uh, didn't know I couldn't do that. <laughs> uh, elbows inside. Not bad, not bad. So, if I was you, like, when I'm starting to think about arm wrestling, I'd just be, like, thinking about these angles. I'd be, like, cup, turn over, elbow inside, up high, you know? Because to be pulled open from here is far. If you start the match here, not as far, right? How do I work on those three points you just mentioned? I'd just be walking around tight all the time. Like, so me, like, when, when people look at me in the day, they're like, what is he doing? Like, all day, I'll be like, I'm like this. Like, I walk around like, you Oh know. my God. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've been doing it for years, right? So I'm just thinking about arm wrestling, thinking about it. Um, yeah, and like, when you start to think about this, like, more seriously, what's really important is the beginning. Like if you break down like what strength is failing, normally it's, at the beginning of the match, it's normally who can be up higher. So it's just this height, this ability to climb up, just super important. And then after that, it's, it's is your wrist getting bent back? Is your wrist getting turned over? These three things, rising, cupping, rolling. You get mega strong in those three ways, the rest is like not so important. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Writing, you want to do a bit more? Uh, How do you feel? Yeah, yeah. 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 The tension's been quite low, so yeah. you can handle it. Yeah. More. Yeah. So Switch it? Yeah. Okay. You want to? Yeah, sure. I haven't done anything with the strap lately. Do you know how to put it on? I don't know how to put it on. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I'll, I'll show you. you you'll, you'll, you'll put it on me? Okay. Okay. So hands together. Okay. You'll put it on with your left. So uh, it's when you're putting the strap on, it's easier to put the buckle on my hand. So come through the bottom and put the buckle right there. Come through the bottom? Yep. Around this way? Yep. And have it right through the in between our thumbs. In between. Open. Now you see this double stitching here? You see that double stitching? Okay. So that will be uncomfortable if it's in our, in our thumb. So just have it just outside of the thumb balance. Right there. Okay. That's the perfect place. Okay. 
Now take the strap. Whoever has the buckle, you wrap their wrist first. Okay. Yep. How am I wrapping? Just the, the, the rule is one inch from the wrist, but don't really worry about it too much. Just throw it over wherever it kind of feels good. Um, not too high, not too low. That's, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Normally, the lower you get, lower you go, the more you'll be able to connect to your strength. Uh, but there's a right place for the strap to sit. Don't worry too much about it. Just throw it over. Okay. No, 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 no. Now, now you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now uh, is an important thing. Okay. If you go up through the bottom, just like you are right now, uh, it's going to give you a big advantage. Okay. Uh, it's going to whoever has the buckle is at a disadvantage when you go underneath the bottom. Okay. This is the way they used to do it for years. Now we do something called the fair strap. Okay. This is a symmetrical wrap. Goes through the middle. This is what you'll get in competition. Okay, so you go through the middle like that. See that? Mm. Okay, so yeah. let me uh, do myself some yeah. kind of registers. All right, so yeah, I just what I do is I reach through the middle. So just reach your hand right through the middle there. Yeah. Just pull through. Yeah, and I'll help you. I'll just tighten like that. Yeah. Good. And then there you go. F far first, far one first. No, uh, far. Yep. So strap arm wrestling is a lot different from non-strap arm wrestling. There's, the technical flow is a lot different. You kind of have access to everything right away in a strap, um, and it's where a lot of the pro events are now. Like a lot more strap arm wrestling at the moment. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even in the strap, the grip, I'm telling you, the most important part of arm wrestling is winning before they say go. Mm -hmm. you, you need to have a good grip. You need to have more depth and more height. Okay, so the simplest thing, see, see that line right now? I already have a fairly good grip, but if I push just a bit, see that? Okay, I'm much deeper, okay? Now, when I bend my wrist, I'm working from an advantaged leverage point. See that? So just push at me, push. Yeah, push to get this, like that. Feel that? Pushing. Yeah, pass me, pass me. And, and when you push, kick your wrist back. That's it, there, now. But, but when you push past, you're gonna feel it slip, grab up high. So push, push, bent back wrist. Now see, not bad, not bad. You want to come through the top. Push, rise, supinate, supinate. That's it. Thumb. That's it. Okay. Okay. You're gonna have a bit more connection. Start to feel your pronation. Good. Get him, Larry. Right now. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. Anytime my arms on the table, it implies consent. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's feel what you got. Giving it a go now. Yeah, you can. There you go. He's strong. <laughs> cup. Cup. You work, the, you work that cup, it's all going to come. That was a real match, guys. <laughs> that was a real match. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
My last pack. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's going to burn out Larry. <laughs> That's what he's doing. The vampire. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Come on, Larry, don't let him. <laughs> He's ready. Lefty is good. It's tight. Yeah. So that biceps is okay, right? I guess the biceps is alright. I was ready for it to pop any second. <laughs> Feels good, man. Feels good. They look great. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got some twang in there. Yeah. In the left arm. Yeah, it's holding together good. Now, my right at the moment is a lot better than my left. I'm doing this thing called Way of the Giant Pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Everything's going in the right arm at the moment. But yeah, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> Feel good, we'll have a lot of fun. We'll have a lot of fun. Let's try righty and we'll go no strap. I'll just try and hold you. Okay, uh, I have a little trouble. Yeah. He's strong. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have guessed Larry Wheels is strong? <laughs> Everything's holding together, you feel healthy? Yeah, Yeah. no aches or pains. I took yeah. a week off before you came. Yeah. Uh, Dan was telling me the way here, <laughs> you arm muscle strain every single day. I will, yeah, at times, every day. So, there's been times when I've done it like three times a day, every day for months. But I just love it. Like for me, arm wrestling is like my favorite thing. So, yeah, yeah. You can do it a lot. You really can. People talk about once every two weeks, once every week. There's a million protocols you can follow. Same as any discipline. I enjoy table, table practice, so. Yeah, I'll do it every day while I'm here. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yep. 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 Oh yeah! I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Wait, so. you think you can do what? Yeah. I think a little bit of focused effort and you're there. Yeah. Yeah, just a little bit more on your wrist and you'll be you'll be hard to deal with. Yeah. Wait, okay. what about the thousand dollar bet? Thousand dollars on schoolboy. Woo oh. man! I lose a lot of money in arm wrestling, so hey, I'm just so excited to watch this match. It's big. Like undoubtedly schoolboy is the next guy coming up, I mean, mm -hmm. and you, dude, what do you got? Bodybuilding, done. <laughs> Powerlifting, done. Strong man. Welcome to arm wrestling. <laughs> that stamina is something else. How long do you think you could keep on going? Well, here's the thing. Like, my stamina is more than it needs to be. Right? For competitive arm wrestling, you're looking at three to five. You're looking at, you know, probably a minute and a half rest between rounds. Minute so, and a half. Depending on the league, depending on the format. Going like WAL, three to five, minute and a half between rounds. So anything more than that is overkill. And I just because of my background and how much I like arm wrestling, I got more, more than than is required. But the thing is, a lot of the stamina comes into play in the setup, like in the false starts, in the fouls. So, you know, you can bring stamina into it more, but ultimately, it's a strength sport. You know, you got more strength, <laughs> leaves the other guy having to scramble. 
<laughs> Somebody likes Schoolboy though. So he's pretty strong. Yeah. He doesn't look it. No. Does he? No, but the thing is, is he's been working arm wrestling since he was a baby. <laughs> you know, and when you work that specific, those specific angles, okay. yeah, it's tough. So he doesn't look, but you gotta remember, he's, I don't even think he barely shaves yet. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's smooth. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. You, you, yeah. You were saying since he's 10 years old. Well, I mean, he started Most. young, for sure. I mean, whether he was 10 or whatever. You got at least five years on the table. Man, I'm sweating more than normal here. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm not, ah, surprisingly. Yeah. And I'm working hard. I'm Goodbye. definitely working. <laughs> You're sweating. Wait, look at this. You're sweating. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> but you give him a couple years, and he'll probably start to look it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep. Gee. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. <laughs> yup, yup, yup. Yeah, yep. there you go. I love it. I love it. <laughs> that was a commentator. It's not gonna happen. Right here. Give it up, kid. It's, good, it's good. It's good. I meant that angle, that particular angle, that wasn't working. So I helped you to go to a new angle. He did actually. He know he had that angle too. Mm -hmm. He he was there. He had it. Just uh. You know, if you had to move quicker, it was there. If I moved quicker. Yeah, if you wanted it. Like, I mean, I feel like, you know, a little bit of half tempo, you felt it. It was there. Yeah, yeah, you could have. Hmm. You could have taken it there. Yeah. You know, I'd like to try uh, resisting you. Yeah. Let's see if, uh, yeah. see how it feels on the other end. Yeah. I'll just move slow. Okay. Yeah. You good? <laughs> As we're moving slowly. <laughs> he just wanted to show you just at least one time. I could destroy you. Very Crack, you know, so much of it is just getting comfortable on the table. You know, competitive arm wrestling and practice, real different. Mm. We can work out great. You're super, super strong. We, can, we find that middle ground, and that's where we play, right? Yeah, that's, that's good arm wrestling practice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to resist one more time. One more time? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 awesome. mm -hmm. Left, I'm not as good. Left could be interesting. <laughs> uh, how much of a difference in percentage so, you think there is? Six, or is it so I had a match in. So it's interesting in arm wrestling because it's like right hand, left hand. Arm wrestlers figured out a long time ago that if you hurt your one arm, your other arm gets way stronger. It's wild and it happens so quick. Like if you were to like smash your hand, two weeks later, you're gonna be racking out numbers in this one that's crazy. <laughs> the other hand. Yeah, yeah, right away. It's like almost a nervous change that the body does. Um, so a lot of times when I have a big match, lefty, righty, I'll just train exclusively on that one side. So I had a match in September with Wagner, this Brazilian dude, and since that match, He's a beast. it's <laughs> all been my right. Wow. And it's just shifted more and more. So like, I still arm wrestle left and right, but the only homework I do, like all the weights, it's just right-handed, so. Oh, so you don't do I don't even do it. <laughs> <laughs> but I arm wrestled. But during quarantine, there was no arm wrestling for a while, and it just lay dormant. It was so nice. And this one, this one really started to get really good gains during that time period. So I call it Way of the Giant Pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's fun having arms that are on different levels. It's, it's fun. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna let it resist. Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, oh. oh, you let me do that. Oh, you, you let, let me. me. <laughs> you should have let go. You should have let go. See, when I, when I like, it, it felt weird, right? You're like, what's going on? You held on yeah. to me? That's when you slip. That's when you just say whatever. 
Uh, I should hold on to no. that. No, no. If you hold on to that, that lets me do all that garbage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just slip. We can go strap, or we can come back to it. Uh, oh, for, for me to pay me? You want to go strap? Yeah, okay. Because okay. mm -hmm. that, that should have been a slip. Mm -hmm. So yeah. how do, I'm trying to, okay, what did so, you do yeah. so I know? Okay, so here we were. Here we were. Now what happened? So give me a little bit of pressure. Okay, come up high again. Like, yeah, okay, so we were like fighting up here, and your hand was a bit stronger than mine. And what I did at that point, is I dumped the top, and I kind of let go of my grip a bit. You remember that? Yes. Mm. This kind of feeling? Yes. And then you tried to hold on to it down here. <laughs> mm. Okay. And that's like, it's hard to hold on to my arm down here, right? Yeah. Right, and then when you did, I was able to use all that leverage. But what you could have done, as soon as you felt me dip, like let go. Dip down. No, just carry on through and get strapped. That's the simplest thing, or you could have held on to the top of my hand. The top. Here. The top. So I, I still would have had to release my grip, okay. either way. Well, what you can do, so as soon as you feel the guy, st so say you were to pull out, like if you were to pull, okay, you're gonna have to learn how to slip. Okay. <laughs> so a lot of it, a lot of arm wrestling is like having a hand advantage, okay? As soon as I feel my hand getting compromised, normally, I'm gonna start to release and try and fight in what do you call like a half slip or a full slip position. Yeah, and then we end up in the straps, Depending on the federation, you might get a foul. In uh, WAL, right now the rule is all slips go to straps. Pretty much. So you hands, so it's kind of a get out of jail free card. <laughs> so you've got to pin me. So even if I'm here, I can just be like. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll go straight to straps. Straight to straps. Mm -hmm. Even if you're. There's, there, now, honestly, I'm not fully up to date on what the rule is today. The rules change a little bit from time to time, but. Uh, they're quite liberal with the straps for the last few years. Basically, at this point, it's very easy to get a strap in arm wrestling. So, anytime I feel my hand getting kind of blown out, I'll start to give it away. And at that point, and some people will just do a full slip. And that means as soon as they feel their hand start to go, they're gonna pull out and they're gonna carry on through. But what I'll do is I'll do what I call it a half slip. So I'll start to dump it, and I'll leave it there, and if you want to grab it, it's not a good choice for you, typically. typically. But if you grab it the right way, we call it exploding hand technique, it's great. We'll get there, we'll get there. Yeah. For the slip I'll, then? I'll try and hold on to you a bit more. I'll try and hold on. Yeah. Okay, yeah. we're doing one more here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So strong. So strong. Yep. 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 Same thing, right? You feel it? Yeah. yeah. He's no so way. strong. It's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. So I can hang in the game for yes, this. Yes, exactly. <laughs> for at least one more table press. Yeah. I brought him into this and I want him to yeah. you know, succeed. Yeah. I feel like it's all my fault. So just know, <laughs> I haven't really, like I'm not really pinning you, so just know that always feel good, right? Always feel good at the table. Everything should feel nice and good pressure. Yeah. I'll try not to put you in any bad spot. Not that I even can right now. <laughs> well, that right hand is a whole different story. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah, let's see. Yeah. yeah. Good, good, good. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, that's awesome. Come on, Larry. Yeah. Yeah. No pain. No. It didn't, it didn't feel like it was. 
<laughs> sometimes you feel it and you're like, oh my god. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, sometimes like, oh, that's just that's just a little bit of brittleness talking to you. Mm -hmm. The week is leaving. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Strat. Okay. Yeah. And you know what's good because schoolboy's left is actually better than his right also. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So that uh, that makes it more interesting as well. Huh. I'm surprised I'm the torn bicep there. It's weird how that works, eh? Oh, hey, yeah. Did you have surgery? No? No, it's because it was the shoulder where it disconnected. Uh, no surgery. Huh, huh. Just stay safe. Just stay safe all the time. Feel good all the time. Yep. 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 <laughs> Yeah, the thing I like about you is you stay on it. You stay <laughs> on it. When you start to think is you get on it, and you get a place you can kind of start to reverse off of. If you can get there. Reverse off of it. Yeah, so like you're banging me over real good. Okay, your strength out of the gates is awesome, right? You're, you're knocking me over to about here. Okay? But then there's this really weird kind of concept that you got to you gotta, you gotta grasp. And that's that you gotta give things away to get the full advantage, right? Mm. So I'm actually giving things away to get a stop, okay? And you're taking what I'm giving you. If you actually go the exact opposite way, so you are like this and you're top rolling, but, but on the reset, if you bring your wrist back and see your palm just like this, and then go again, you'll do that same thing you did here, only here. Just give it away, like once you get it, I think you can, if we just do it slow right now, I think you'll get it. What you're saying is you're putting yourself in a position to hold me? I am, yeah. Normally you're taking like this, and you're taking like this, right, to your bicep. That's all great, so bang, okay, and then, you go back the other way and then do it again okay yeah so come back do this come thing. back and like it's like <laughs> normally when your wrist bends back it's because you're losing but if you're in control of the match like you are like you're in control of it if you give it away while you're in control it sets you up to take even more okay. yeah So we won't go totally, like go like at an intensity where you can, you can work, right? Go hard, but, but think about that reset. And when you think about giving things up in your wrist, come forward with your elbow. Come forward. Come so forward. Come higher. Yes. Yeah. Come higher, kick your wrist back. You, that's it. You feel that? Yes. That's what you want to do in the match. Yeah. All right, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yep. Yes, perfect. Yep. And when you do that, get close to it with your body. Get behind it. Here? No, 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 when you stand up. I'm here. It. Yes. Yes, get here close. again. Mm -hmm. Bang it back again. Do it again. Do it again. That's it. Feel that big step. Now this time when you stand up, you're going to push it down. Push it down. Yep. Still, still that same regret when you go back to where you were. Okay. Yep. Back here. Back down there. Yep. Lots in your wrist. When you stand up this time, you're gonna be able to push a bit. Start to think that you can push it. Push, like press it. Yeah, but but not until you're right behind it. So still tuck it in. The whole time you're standing up, you're tucking it inside your body. Yep. yep. Here. Yep. Bang it down. Yep. No, no, no. That's at the end. When you're standing up, you're still tucking it in. Yep. So I'm going yep. here. Uh-huh. Coming down. Bang. 
Stand up and tuck it in. Stand up and tuck it inside your body. Stand up. Yep, drive again one more time. Tuck it in closer inside your body when you stand up. That's it. Now you start to see that lane. Yeah. It's right there, right? Then I can. It's right there, right? I see. Okay, Depression. so, right, so. Okay. Like you bang me over, stand up, get more behind me. Bang me over, stand up, get more behind it. Stand up until you're like, it's right there. Right, you're just pulling me across, pulling me across, pulling me across, pulling me across until when you stand up, it's like easy money, right? When, it, when there's a lane, then. Yeah, but not before, not before. You can kind of test the water, hit it a bit, but don't commit, because you're probably just bad position. Yeah, and that's why I'm always like, tuck it in, because see here, to push here, it's like all spirally. But if I can <laughs> here, that's right in line. Yeah. Yeah. You got more? Uh, I do, but I think I should say. Yeah. Hey. We got a long week. Hey, yeah. There. That's awesome, dude. Oh, that was awesome, hey, man. Thank it's you. It's so awesome to be here. <laughs> there were so many obstacles, right? So many. Seriously. Yeah. I didn't think it'd be so soon. I'm very pleasantly surprised. And we have Devin here for a whole damn week. So. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look at those guns. Oh, okay. Make up the angle a little bit, but. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Good times. Thank you, man.